Okay, so this is a basic test outside of our maximum power point tracker. Right now we're pulling just about minimum current and uh, we are, um, we're output voltage limiting. We're looking at the output voltage of the MPBT. We're at a 10 watt panel. Just, uh, he's a 20 volt open circuit, so it's a little bit lower than what we expect, but uh, uh, we'll use it for now. Um, we're out in the sun and we have our RTE set up for about 16 and a half volts. So he's about 2.45 volts. We'll, we'll look at him later. But right now, in, we're output limiting, so we're not tracking max power point because we, we are not drawing enough current. So we're at 4.06. Um, volts limiting the output on the input we have 19.52 we're gonna vary around a little bit with the Sun because we're not we're not regulating the input we don't need to and our RTD voltage output uh, is set to 20 degrees C so it's or about there so it's 2.473 and he's staying pretty rock solid he's alternating between 73 74 that's just that's normal happens all the time so <coughs> that's more or less the voltmeter so we'll look at the output again and we're going to draw just enough load in the sun you can see the load right here just enough load we're in the one amp scale right now yep just enough load to cause the output to start dropping and then we're regulating the max power point at that point i might overshoot this five amp scale or above one amp there we go. Okay, so 3.78 right now. Now I can take the fine co control here and vary him around a little bit. So let me draw just a little bit more current. So we can vary him around just a little bit if we want to. And we'll look at the input here. So notice how the output is unregulated. So expected input is 16.36 we'll vary him around a little bit and I'm varying him about 100 milliamps with this fine control and he's rock solid he's staying constant so that's the panel voltage right there if I move the course just a little bit so I'm varying a little bit more current now he's staying rock solid if we look at the RTD voltage we see 2.473 I'll vary him around as well and he stays rock solid. So that's pretty awesome. That is our MPPT working. So here's our output voltage again. We're at 3.4 volts. He's unregulated. We're drawing just under two, two amps of, uh, of current right now. And if I drop him down below, below, um, well, now we're out of our range, but if I drop him down to about 2.8, we start to see everything else start dropping. So that is a error case but that's well out of our specs so you can see that as we start drawing more current we start to drop out a little bit so we know that and that's okay now let's go back to the input here so we're at 3.76 about so I'm varying this around if I reduce the current you can see we go right back into output limiting exactly what we want so we'll go back to the panel the panel is 18.7 is unregulated so I'll show you just on the panel, going into regulation and out. We should jump right down to 16. And stay there. There we are. Now we're in output limiting. No matter what current I pull, he's 16.36, 16.35. Just about. There we go. So I'm varying him. I'm varying him right now 500 milliamps at a time. It's pretty good. And if I drop back down, the sun's dropping too. But I dropped the load back down, we went to open circuit. Now the sun gave us, so now we're dropping. So that's our max power point tracker. Look at the um, look at the RTD with the irradiance. You guys are keeping it real, man. <laughs> I like it. Man. Thank you. So the RTD voltage isn't really changing at all with the irradiance, which is what we were hoping for. Yeah, we're pretty much back in full sun now. Yeah, it didn't change. So we thought we were seeing that lab, but we just weren't testing it right. Yep. So we can stop the video. 